I'm Joe Anderson, the Mayor of Liverpool, and together with the Royal Liverpool Hospital Trust, we wanted to show you an insight into what's going on inside the hospital's COVID wards. COVID is on the rise in our city and across the city region, and it's having a direct impact on hospital admissions. Every day you see teams of doctors and nurses going above and beyond the call of duty in trying to support people who have been admitted to hospital deal with the virus they're suffering from. They're putting their lives at risk every single day. PPE has become normal. It's a way of life inside the hospital. And it's a real reminder really of the health and safety risks that our hospital staff are taking every single day and every single shift they attend. They're becoming physically and mentally exhausted as they actually try to support us and support our families. The virus is out of control and it takes no prisoners. It doesn't discriminate. So the people in this ward and in the other COVID wards within this hospital could be your mum, your dad, one of your children, your grandmother, or any member of your family could be lying in one of these beds, either now or in the coming weeks. Nobody is immune. And that's why it's important that you see what's going on in these wards and see this video, because I'm telling you that your actions can and will make a difference. COVID is our enemy, not each other. The fact of the matter is, is that we have two choices to make. To do something to try to bring this virus back under control or do nothing and let it spread. There are now too many people dying of COVID and too many people being infected. Over 3,000 people have now got the infection in our city. And as you can see in these pictures, our wards are becoming very, very full. And also our ICU unit becoming full. So it's important that we all work together, play our role in maintaining the social distancing, wearing face coverings, washing our hands, following the new rules and the regulations. The reason why we should do it and the reason why I'm asking you to do it, because I know you love your city and you love our National Health Service and the people that work in it. Let's give them the support that they need and let's continue to follow the rules, stick by the things that we're getting asked to do. And we can get through this within a month. We can start to bring this virus down and the R rate down. That means we can try to get back to uh, some normality. Please take care of each other, support one another, and let's get through this together.